Hello everyone, welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. Hey, you know, I know a lot of you have been following me for quite a while, or if you're new to my YouTube channel, you've probably figured out that I, I'm a little bit of a quilting geek. I love anything to do with quilting and design software. If I can play around with them and get them to work together, I am all in. And today we're going to talk about the new Pro Stitcher Designer and Quilt Pro 6. If you own these two programs, I am going to show you, you've got a jackpot of new quilting designs that you didn't even know they were there. And I want to thank everybody who've been shooting off the great questions and, and inspiring me to come up with new videos, how things work together. I've loved hearing from all of you. If you've got a question about today's video or any other video that I've done, or maybe want to see something, shoot me an email at kksos at kksquiltstudio.com. Now today, I have two Facebook groups that you either might be a member of, or if you aren't, shoot on over to Facebook and look up Pro Stitcher Designer Diner. There we talk about Pro Stitcher Designer, and I also have another group that is exclusively for Quilt Pro 6 and EQ8. Any questions you have if you own either one of those programs, that is that group is called the Digital Quilting Bee. So look the, uh, both of those up on line on your Facebook account. And yes, I will be doing another video on how you can do this very same thing in Electric Quilt 8. So I'll put a link to that video below. And as always, you can check out my website at kksquiltstudio.com. I do have a class on being a quilting geek and how you can get several of your quilting tools or software programs working together. And that's over on my website. Be sure to check out under the classes tab. So here we are in Quilt Pro. If any of you have owned this program or are familiar with it, I have opened up the workspace. I've opened up for a new block and we're going to click on our tool and go to the block library. Now I've gone to the block library and under that I've selected the quilting stencils folder and I'm going to come down here and grab that flower too and open it up and there it is this is a quilting stencil there's a whole bunch more in that folder just waiting for you what we're going to do is select just this background because I'm not going to need that and we're going to cut that away all we need is the quilting design and we are going to take this and export as an SVG file. And let's go down here and let's select SVG. And I have already saved this one. Here it is right here. We're going to save that on top. And yes, we'll just overwrite it. Okay, hang. are you hanging on? We're going to pop on over to the Pro Stitcher Designer program and we're going to do just the opposite. We exported in Quilt Pro and now we're going to import artwork. We're going to go back to that file folder. I saved it on my desktop and open that up and there is our design. Next thing I'm going to do is right click. And I'm going to go up here to Utility, and I'm going to connect this design. Are you hanging with me? How many clicks have we done? Not very many. Okay, now we're going to convert this. I right-clicked again on my mouse. We're going to convert that to running stitches. We're going to go over to Preview, and we're going to click Stitch Out, and click Go. Look at that. How many clicks did I do? Easy as that, and I've got a design. I'm ready to save it in my machine format and take it to the quilting machine and sew it out. So, are you ready? Are you strapped on? Did you enjoy that? I hope so. Catch me later. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great ideas like this. And remember, get your software out and play with it. Happy quilting!